In this video, we will show you how to use the thyroid protector for lateral cephalograms. We start with positioning the patient correctly in the cephalostat. We place the patient between the ear posts. The patient is asked to stand up straight with shoulders relaxed. Now we adjust the vertical position of the cephalostat. The earplugs are brought into the auditory canals. The head of the patient is guided into the correct horizontal position. Now we check the correct occlusion of the patient and we ensure a relaxed lip posture. We check the horizontal head position and place the nose or forehead stabilizer. We are now ready to place the thyroid protector. The neck rest must be placed on the rear corner of the neck. The shielding part must be placed on the side of the neck where the radiation is incident. To position the shield correctly, we must look at the patient from the side. To find the corner of the mandible, we palpate with a finger. We place the upper corner of the shield just below the corner of the mandible. Now we must turn the shield in order to make the rear contour of the shield parallel to the rear contour of the neck of the patient. Then we check that the upper corner of the shield is still positioned correctly below the corner of the mandible. The thyroid shield is now positioned correctly. The head position, the occlusion, and the lip posture are checked again. Now we can perform the exposure for the lateral cephalogram as usual. After the exposure, the thyroid protector can be removed and the patient can be let out of the cephalostat. As usual, the X-ray machine is cleaned with surface disinfectants. The thyroid protector is also treated with a surface disinfectant before it is used for the next patient. The instructions for use can be found on the instruction card. We wish you success with the use of your thyroid protector. We are happy that your patients will receive a much lower radiation dose from now on.